Everybody, welcome back to Today on the Vineyard here in Nemsha. I'm Alex Friedman, joined by I'm Chris Jane Fisher yeah, Chris from Fisher. Edible Island. Molly is sous chef also. Hi, guys. My sister, he Molly keeps Fisher. eating his own ingredients. How do you ever make any food? I bring a lot of it. <laughs> That's a good plan, especially when it's, you know, lobster meat. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris, what do we got to, what's happening here? We're That's gonna make a carrot, a, right? That is a carrot. I picked <laughs> these this morning. Um, we're gonna make a salad out of my garden. So this is basically everything that's fresh salad. Got it. Oh, fabulous. Okay, do so. you wanna get started? How do you, how do you wanna do this? You're the chef. You wanna? I talk for a living. Yeah, you show oh. us. You show okay. us how you do it. So uh, we have a head of romaine lettuce. Mm -hmm. um, Molly, why don't you pick a few leaves off the middle? This is my sister, Molly. Hi, Molly. Hey, Molly. Now, Molly. Not just my sous chef. With ro with romaine, you want to pick it before it gets too pick the middle leaf bushy, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go. Alex, that's what I learned. Notice all the green stuff. That's how you know it's a salad. All right. Well, basically, while she's doing that, um, we have green beans from the garden, which were cooked. Uh, they were steamed. We have potatoes that were boiled. We have raw cucumbers. Um, I think the nice thing about the salad like this is that you can prepare everything differently. Uh -huh. Steam the green beans, boil the potatoes, raw cucumbers. We've got uh, green onions. We have tomatoes from the garden. Summer squash that was sauteed. Oh, nice. Ooh. So we have that. all these different textures. We have raw carrots, Romano beans, also raw. And then to make it vineyardy, some lobster meat Excellent. that's cooked, and a few herbs for our salad dressing. What kind of potatoes are those? New potatoes? Yeah, they're uh, called Red Norlands, but Red Norlands. Okay. new potatoes are just the time when you pick them. So I they're new see. because they're young. I never knew that. Okay, great. So now you, you learn something. Use potatoes your whole life. <laughs> exactly. That's right. So we've got our greens. And unknowingly. We just want a little bit. Um, you want to chop this for me? Rough chop. Rough chop, that's a chef's term for, uh, <laughs> for not, not too fine. Chop. This is our dressing. This is... Um, that's what? MSG in water? MSG. I actually bought this at McDonald's, yeah. um, so I don't even know what it is. I think it's Newman's Own. It's olive oil, a little homemade mayonnaise. Um, what else is in there? Tamari and rice vinegar and a little sesame oil. So we'll add some herbs to that. Mm -hmm. From the garden as well, I'm Yeah, assuming? this is parsley. Yep. Just yeah, just hold it down so it doesn't blow away. Not just the garnish. Here's some basil. Chop that up too. Ooh, I love basil. We're gonna rip some. Mm, smell that basil. We'll put some basil in with the lobster as well, since um, you like basil. It'll now, Chris, do you always steam yeah. your lobster or you grill it sometimes too? Um, I like to steam it first. Even if I'm gonna grill it, I'll, I'll usually uh, probably par cook it. Right. And then uh, put it on the grill. Here, will you throw that for the seagulls? Whoa, whoa, really? Yeah. I okay. Or just get it out, you know, off camera. What it's if a shark wants to eat this? <laughs> okay, what here, if? I'll put it in my All pocket. Right, that's good. Put that in there. So, homemade mayonnaise. I'm impressed. I've never heard of such thing. It's not too hard. It's like eggs and a couple it's other snow. things. Yeah? Exactly. All right, good. Dress Do you that. Uh, now w toss that? The fr the f here, I'll trade with you. So the fresh herbs in the dressing like that, sort of chopped and yeah. mixed, does that bring more flavor with the, the adjustment kind of cut like that instead of? So these are Romano beans, like an Italian flat green bean May sort I? of thing. Harry Cover or whatever the difference oh, is. Harry Cover? No, I just wanted to say that. That's okay. a good bean. I know, I love saying that word too. So these are raw. We also have cooked beans, so this is going to add a nice texture to the dish. Wow. So also, it's not just texture, flavor. These are a lot of the well, criteria. Yeah, I think. Um, like the, the raw, flavor's the raw amazing. cucumber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The flavor is amazing because everything's so fresh, but yep. if you can add different ingredients um, that are either raw or cooked, then you're getting nice textures. Chris, and colors. Don't you like yeah. to go for a variety of colors Definitely. as well? That's I'm that colorblind. Different vitamins and you're colorblind? No. Oh. Um, <laughs> my dad is. Do you, uh, do you think, Chris, do you find in general people over season and, you know, do people not sort of stress the simplicity of great fresh food? May I? Mm -hmm. I'll speed that to your goats. Oh yeah, do you want a carrot? I would love a carrot. Yeah. Always wondered, can you eat this stuff? Mm, not you really. You were about to let me do it though, weren't you? <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> okay. So what, are, one more. so what are your favorite herbs to cook with? Oh, great. Thank you. Um, 
I like rosemary and thyme. Mm -hmm. um, basil, parsley. Molly, you can speak. <laughs> wow, that's just, I don't know what. Um, all right, so we're gonna, we have this bed of greens mixed with the squash and tomatoes, yep. carrots, Romano mm -hmm. beans, we'll make a little. A nice bed. A little something. Now obviously this is very, not just with ingredients, but it's a summertime dish because it. This is summertime because these are all things out of our garden mm -hmm. that were at their freshest. You know, we picked everything either last night or this morning before the show. Um, so this salad is based on not a recipe, but what we had available. Right. Right. Um, give a few green beans. How long you uh, saute the beans? Saute or steam the beans? Uh, I steam, steam them. For like a half hour? No, for like three minutes probably. Okay. Oh, that's good. But close. I mean, you obviously know a lot <laughs> about cooking. Just add a zero. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> a few potatoes. Oh wow, that looks great. Fantastic. And for the island touch, oh, yeah. some lobster meat. Mm -hmm. This was steamed. Not grilled. Speaking of which, Realm of the Lobster, amazing documentary. It's going to be at the Chilmark Community Center. Who made it? Uh, the University of Maine, smart guy. I was being inquisitive. <laughs> oh, I thought you were, I thought you were, you've been, you've been hammering me under the, you know. I feel like I'm on 60 Minutes with you, Chris. Except they've never had food like this on 60 Minutes. No, they don't get a food food. Definitely there. not. Only on the vineyard. Only on today on the vineyard. You guys want not. some? Of course. Thank Here, I'll you. trade you. All right. That, that, that one that, here is I'd love to. You're going to have something? Mm. May I? Here comes yeah. the best moment of all. Mm -hmm. It's good breakfast. Yeah. It mm -hmm. is. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that's actually awesome. Delicious. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes food that's made on TV is kind of less than good, so I'm, I just hope that it... Not this one. Hey, this didn't fall into that category. This is more than good. That's better fantastic. than bad. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Have some more if you like it so I'm much. I'm not stopping. I still got to okay. talk, though, you know? They don't pay me to eat. Actually, they don't pay me to talk either, so. <laughs> oh, well. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. And Chris, all these ingredients, people, where the farmer's market's mm -hmm. one place, but we also, you know, supporting There's a big part of Edible Island. Lots of farm stands on the island. Lots of farm stands on the island. And where else can we direct people to get, if they're not growing them or catching them themselves? Um, great ingredients. Take your time to answer so I can eat. Most farms are um, pretty accessible uh -huh. as well. You can just stop by uh, if they have a farm stand, if it's open or not. Um, you can usually find a grower on the property and just, you know, inquire that you want something out of their garden. Well, I have I some. Your, yeah, please have some. You don't let your sister eat. I'm worried eat. about your eating. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and some of the stores do carry local or fresh produce as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think Kronig's yeah, is trying Kronig's. to do a good job mm -hmm. with that. Definitely. And, um, Fiddlehead Farm, mm -hmm. not to plug any businesses. Maybe I'm not supposed to say that. You can plug all businesses. Okay. We're plugging, you know. Plugging but the, the farmer's farm. market, Wednesday and Saturday, 9 to 12, um, is a great place. Yeah. Go early before they sell all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. right. You used to go, I remember. I don't get we the talked about this anymore. before, but. I know. Now you have, um, who is it? Uh, what's his name goes for you? My personal assistant? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's his name? Roger. <laughs> um, but, uh, um, mm. I'm lost in lobster thought. That's fantastic. Hey, That's really good. I'm lost in arugula thought. What about arugula? What are some of your thoughts on like the best things to do with arugula? That's one of my favorite greens ever. Spicy. Yeah, I, I would just, is, I would probably just eat, eat it, it as fresh as <laughs> possible in a salad. <laughs> okay, I, I know yeah. what I wanted um, to ask you. Okay. You've been convicted of murder. You're on death row. <laughs> you got one last meal. What's it going to be? And Molly, I want your answer too. Probably fresh tomatoes out of the garden. With fresh. some salt and olive oil. That's it? Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Molly, yeah. what, what, what's your death row meal? Actually, she's been on death row. She just got off. <laughs> really? So what did you have? Yeah, what was it? McDonald's, probably. Yeah, definitely. No, I'm more interested in the meat dishes that we make. Like what? Like, like what's one of your faves? We make, Specifically. Um, like fish, um, bluefish with um, potatoes and peas and beans and um, that paper. Parchment, Parchment paper. Parchment Deep. paper. Mm -hmm. You cook, cook no, that. but what what would you like? What would you eat though? Out of that? If you had one choice, steak, steak. chicken, steak, 
chicken nuggets. Chicken with the sea. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much <laughs> for providing breakfast. This was delicious. For sharing with folks the amazing oh, okay. edible island mm -hmm. we live on. Doesn't mean you actually have to eat the island. Would thank you, you for having the me. Show hey, you know, at various kidding? times. It's going to be on today and every day. Uh huh. Alex every watched day. it in between segments. And on the web, I did. On our I website. Time to go weird. Time yeah. Mm hmm. And um, thank you like, so much. Thank you. Chris. <laughs> hey, people work hard on those things. Chris Fisher. All right, but Mom, don't go anywhere. Thanks. We're going to be right back with some music from Kieran Maloney here on Today on the Vineyard on Plum. And.